This week's Thomas Index Report is sponsored by Infrared Cameras, a COVID-19 response supplier of infrared thermal imaging cameras for surveillance and security applications. Welcome to the Thomas Index Report for the week of May 11th. As a quick reminder, before we start today's index report, you can find all of our COVID-19 resources and register your industrial business as a COVID-19 response supplier by visiting thomasnet.com slash COVID-19. This week, we're keeping an eye on industrial sourcing trends for security cameras. According to the New York Times, the NYPD has seen a 131% increase in burglaries of commercial establishments since the city declared a state of emergency on March 12th in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. New York was by far one of the hardest hit cities across the nation, which led to sweeping restrictions on business operations and subsequent business shutdowns. This meant increased opportunity for criminal activity, which has been an issue not just in New York, but in cities across the United States. While concerns are growing that future burglaries will target restaurants, museums, or government offices, many manufacturers with local facilities or warehouses are particularly worried that thieves will target their locations. Because many manufacturers have reduced their staff presence or shifted to remote operations, the risk is particularly high, especially for those manufacturers who produce high-tech, high-value parts like robotic components. For the most part, security teams have been deemed essential workers and could be mobilized to protect a manufacturing facility in person, but it's often easier and safer for security teams to avoid virus risks, to utilize remote security options like on-site security cameras connected through the cloud to remote monitoring stations. With this in mind, it comes as little surprise that we've seen sourcing for security cameras on the thomasnet.com platform increase 133% over the category's last quarter averages. In addition to standard security applications, in some cases, these cameras are also being utilized to create fever detection systems. While thermal imaging cameras are typically used for this purpose, newly developed systems can utilize existing security cameras by adding additional software to identify elevated temperatures of those individuals within the camera's view. As employees pass by the camera on their way into work, a production facility, industrial business leaders can get a better sense of early indicators of COVID-19 infections. It should be noted, however, that while this method is the most effective option, heightened temperatures do not necessarily indicate that a person has COVID-19, just as normal temperatures do not necessarily indicate that a person is completely healthy. I'm Tony Apoff, and this is the Thomas Index Report.